Hello, friends. It's me, Danielle. Danny Buttons. Is that how I usually intro these videos? Hi, guys. It's me, Danielle. Danny Buttons. That's how I usually do it. Oh well. I'm here today with my finished pages video for March. March was a great coloring month for me. It's actually only the 28th, so hopefully, I will get a few more pages done before the end of March. But if I do, I'll just show them to you next month. Three of these are actually from February. So that's how that works. No big deal. But this month, I was really, really obsessed with one book that I now realize I put in the middle of my stack. So I'll get to that when I get to it. But it's the 100 Color Quest Sun Life Drawing Book. And I did so many pages in there. And that's like all I wanted to color. So what I ended up doing was I like let myself do one of those pages and then I had to do two other pages. So my two other pages were either Disney pages, Camellia Angelkova, or 10 books to finish. And then I would do another one from that book, if that makes sense. So let's just get right into it. As usual, I have like my uh, color by number and adjacent on top and then my non-color by number and then my Disney for the end. So 30 pages though is a good month for me and again I was doing so many and I kind of like teetered off at the end but I did also finish seven scrapbook pages um so far I've read nine books I say so far because I think I'm gonna finish one more and I did a few diamond painting coasters so like I had a really good hobby month overall and even if I only uh get to this 30 that is a good number for me. So anyway, first up is my one color relaxation book, Art Animal Stencils. If you saw my last video, which was my quarter one wrap up for my 10 books to finish, I did in fact finish this. So I had to finish off three different pages this month. Let's see if we can find them. I finished this pink bear. And I love this bear, so cute. Then I finished the bat, fruit bat with the fruit. And finally, I don't think it was in this order. I think the bear was the official last page, but I also finished the kangaroo sloth page. Do kangaroos and sloths normally live together? Or was this just a weird combination? I don't know, but those were the three I did in there and that book is completely done. Woohoo! I'm pretty excited for myself for getting one book done and I'm hoping for more books done for quarter two but again you probably recently saw those next was another turn to finish my women's world color by colors by kira shirzneva i did two this month one of them i actually did in a video which was this one i didn't finish it on video but i did a lot of it and it is i'm going to assume the japanese girl um in later publications of this book she put where each girl was from but my volume was a very early one, so it doesn't have that. But I don't think it's a leap to say that this is our Japanese woman. So, and then I'm also assuming that this is an either Sky Skyrish, Scottish or Irish lass. And this is the second one I did. So I love doing the last page in the book because then I don't even use a paper at the back. And I just see how far we go with the bleeding. And I really love this image too. I don't know, I love the backs of them. And a lot of the backs are colored, but this one isn't. So like that looks so good to me. But yeah, those are my two girls in there. I have a lot to do in here, but it's such a cute book. And Kira Shershnova released a new color by color book this month. I didn't pick it up yet, but I'm so excited because it seemed like she wasn't going to be releasing them anymore. But now I hope that she continues to. I love them so much. And I was like, almost thinking about hoarding the ones I had, but now we can color in them again, yay. <laughs> then I did two, I think, I think two of my 100 Beautiful Man Dolls by Camille Yanchkova. This is another one of my 10 to finish, as you probably know. And I did this one and I actually, shockingly, just picked my own colors for these, both of these. Ooh. Um, I've just really been into hot pink and orange together. I don't know why. I really like how that looks. So I did hot pink, orange, yellow, and then I did a pink and orange glitter. And I think this came out really good. And then my other favorite color palette is the lime green. Um, I don't know what shade of blue you'd call this. I'm just gonna call it bright blue and yellow again. I love yellow. 
So they were prominent in both. And then again, I just did a green and a blue glitter. I don't know how well the glitter shows up on camera. I can never tell. I feel like a lot of the times you can tell that something shiny is happening and then it just makes it look silver. But this is green and this is blue. But love that. I only have, I want to say five or six left. I'm so pumped. So we will be working on it. Like, isn't that so satisfying? Uh, love it so much. So there's that another tent finish this I actually finished the end of February but it's a bird but <laughs> I actually had a prompt to do a page you don't like and I like doing that prompt because especially in books like this where I'm intending on finishing the whole thing um it gives me a push to do birds so there we go not much to say about that in here I am using markers that I do know yellow I don't know if you can tell already uh, obviously this wasn't that old but it's fine for me color by number is process over product as i've said uh, many times so that's okay and my final 10 book to finish i think is color by numbers mandalas by jade summer and i did one this month let's see i definitely changed something but what did i change i'm trying to remember oh these were actually all supposed to be purples and i changed them into pinks because the color palettes in here can get repetitive and at the time I'm just doing a lot of work trying to finish up some of my markers and I had pinks so that's what I did and again like I said I've been really into the pink orange combo and that's what this gave me did I not do these areas or were they that light I think I just didn't do the number 20 at all so that's kind of embarrassing huh I don't know. I'm probably not going to do that if I'm being honest with you. That's really weird though that I just skipped all the number 20s. It was only in like a little bit of space, but I'm a little surprised with myself. So, okie dokie. Yes, then I did a bunch of Camellia pages because she's one of my favorites and I want to be working in her books because I love them. So, I did do that. Um, and Alright, I'll show you one and then we'll talk about something else. I'm sorry. I ended up doing one in winter mandalas I don't have many done in my mandala books because I think I got all of these after the miniatures so I don't tend to gravitate towards them but I did these cuties so they're penguins as you can see um I used my ohuhu pastel markers to do really most of it but I just picked three colors for my gems and then I went over it in my iridescent medium so it's just a bottle of liquitex that you can put over anything and then it makes everything shiny so i did that on the whole gems and then on the snow directly and the snow flakes and then the this black is actually a jelly roll but again it mostly looks silver instead of black but i thought they were pretty cute i was debating doing a background within there but i thought it'd be too hard to avoid all of these snowflakes so i just left it at that but yeah it is a lot of sparkle and shine and so that was a fun one i think i did that for a patreon video and we're gonna take a, a detour because again i piled these weird for another video i did which was Daisy Joy Princess. This was the page I did for my DIY color by number round two. So I had my friend Lydia pick the colors. I had given her a Sun Life color palette and she wrote in the numbers for me. I think you can still see them, which never bothers me. And like, it's just little gray numbers. So she wrote all the numbers and then I colored it in and she said she was inspired by the Legend of Zelda. Is it Zelda herself? Probably. I've never played those games, so I'm sorry. I was gonna say Link, but he's in Mario Kart, and I know that this is not what he looks like, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, I didn't get too, too fancy. I'm thinking if I have her do this again, or if it's like a book like this, I might give her the option in some old Mindware books, there were like glitter versions, so they would put like a little asterisk and then you would make that area glitter. And I feel like if I gave her that option, that some of these might have been a little different. But it's still a really cute page. And it was my first page in this book because I've been desperately wanting to do this page. But I'm always afraid to do my favorite page first. So now we'll see. It kind of like broke the seal on this book. And hopefully I will work in it more because it is super cute. Okay, now back to the miniatures. I did a bunch. So first... 
I did a spring miniature. Spring miniatures was actually the first of the miniature books and it's therefore a little bit different style wise as with the new ones. It's much more fine line work and yeah, it's just a different vibe. But I did this one around St. Patrick's Day and I just did a lot of sparkle. So I did all different jelly rolls for our rainbow and it's like a super rainbow because it's more than just Roy G. Biv. So I added in like the pink. Is that really it? R-O-Y-G-B-I-V. I added in two colors. So I think I just did two different shades of pink. And then I did another jelly roll for our gold coins. This actually was metallic Sharpie for the filigree, but you can't really tell. And I also used my Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White to go over the lines for these flowers. So I do like how it came out. And it was nice to get a page done in here because I haven't in a while because again, stylistically, it's a little bit old fashioned compared to some of her newer stuff. So, but super cute, fun times. And speaking of the oldest book, this is actually the newest miniatures. So this is 50 prehistoric miniatures and I got my second page done in here. And I love how this one came out. This is the T-Rex. I don't know what it is, but I just thought this one was a hit. So I don't remember why. Oh, I actually used a color palette for this one. Not this color palette, but this is the one that I have with me. I These are the Color Cube color palettes and I had used one on this page and I'm hoping to use at least one every single month. And I don't know, it just looks great. I did a lot of sparkle. My brown ended up being super dark and went over a lot of the details. So I just used a gold jelly roll to put them back in essentially. And yeah, glitter all over the place, but pretty subtle, I think. There's some sticky on there, yeesh. Um, yeah. I love how this one came out, super cute. I don't know, I don't always do backgrounds in the miniature books. I don't know if I did any backgrounds this month. So let me know, do you tend to do backgrounds in your miniatures or do you just leave it as is? Because I de like they're definitely fun both ways, but backgrounds sometimes are overwhelming for me. So that's that one. Next, oh, I did page in 50 vacation miniatures. I love how this one came out. Super excited. Ready? Spaghetti. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just love these miniature books so much because I think that they basically always come out good. And I don't say that about my own work. So I don't want you to be like, wow, she just loves herself. No, I don't love myself. Thank you very much. Uh, um, I'm usually a hater on my own stuff. And, but for some reason, not for these. So I do enjoy this a lot. But here is my penguin ice cream. And again, I just straight colored and then added some different jelly rolls of all different types and textures. I have some of the glaze. I basically just outlined the chocolate in the glaze. So it was just clear glaze, but then as you can see, it shines in certain lights. Um, I did the clear glaze over my ice cubes. I did a metallic on the lines of the cone. And I actually made these look like pirouettes which are the Pepperidge Farm cookies. I love these cookies a lot, and I may or may not have had some as I was doing this page. So I just think this came out super cute. And it's weird, I'm just realizing I did two penguins from Camellia this month. Don't know how that worked out, but yeah. And I also just did some dotting in the sand, like perfect, love it. Then we have 50 Woodland Miniatures. This is my last miniature. And which one did I do? Oh my goodness, so. I did this page and I love it again. I was actually inspired by Markers with Mary. I'm pretty sure that's her Instagram name. So check her out. Hopefully I'll remember to link her down below, but if I don't, Markers with Mary. And she, on a lot of her miniature pages, she outlines the whole thing in like a bold color. And I just think that always looks so good when she does it. So I tried it out and this is how it came out. And I really like it. And I will very likely do this method again because it does kind of feel like it gives it a background without actually having to do the whole background. So what I ended up doing for this one, it's basically straight colored, uh, but then I went over the lines of the tree in a darker brown and the lines of the leaves in a darker green. Um, the mushrooms were 
blank mushrooms and I added those dots in myself with my Dr. PH Martin's Ably Proof White. I love that stuff because as you can see, anything else I've ever used over red turns it pink, but this stays white, which is nice. And yeah, again, I just outlined the whole thing with my marker. I do wish that, I don't know, I think my yellow came out a little bit darker than I would have liked, but again, I'm just gonna try this method again because it was so much fun and I do think it looks really good. And I really love this page. I don't know why I was so drawn to it, but because I think my marker, like I wish it was brighter to go with the flowers better. I don't know, but that was my first page in Woodland Miniatures too. So happy to have that done. Okay, here's the, the book of the hour. <sighs> I love it. I'm still obsessed, but I am coming down, which is probably a good thing. These pages, they take a long time. So how I'm tackling this, this is 100 Quest Color by Number, Squares, Triangles, Hexagons, and Circles by Sunlight Drawing, Black Background. Remember that if you're going to pick this book up, if you want the black background or the not black background, I'll talk to you more about the differences when we open the book. There are, in fact, differences. But how they have this set up is it's essentially in sets of four. So they'll, every four pages is a square, triangle, hexagon, and then circle. And then they put all of the vertical pages together in the front and all of the horizontal pages together in the back. So what I've just been doing is just going in order, but instead of completely going in order, I do four vertical and then four horizontal, if that makes sense. So that was my current pattern. I'm gonna show you all the pages because it's not too, too many. These two I showed you last month. So for the not black background, these lines are much thinner and obviously the border of the page is white. So the thinner lines makes it harder to use alcohol markers because they'll bleed together. And then, and I also did this one last month. And then I did this one last month, but you didn't see it yet. So I thought that was super cute. And then this is one of the cover images. But yeah, you never know what you're gonna get. Then I did these. So we have like a little farmhouse in the woods, I guess. I don't know what this is. I actually saw someone else on Instagram do the same one. They're like, hours of work for what? What is this? And I, I don't know. Like, it seems like it's kind of a mask, but then there's like fireworks and then this cool pattern. I really like this pattern in the back, but I don't get it. And like, what's this? I don't get it. So if you know what this is better than me, let me know. Also, it almost looks like it's going to be like a bouquet of flowers. I, I don't know. I don't know. And then the other cover image. I love this giraffe a lot. And then the puppy. I do wish I knew it was a puppy sooner because I would have done a different color as my peach. But he's still real cute. Again, I like the background. So those are all of my vertical pages. And then again, I went to the back and did horizontal. I love that they do this now because it makes it really easy for people filming to only have to flip the book once. But watermelon, another scenery page, this purple dolphin. This took me forever to figure out what it was. Um, I think I figured out it was under the water pretty quick, but then it was purple and I had like this. So I'm like, okay, maybe it's like a mermaid. And then I just like got even farther and I was like, all right, it's gonna be a whole whale. And then it was a dolphin, but it's like a very Lisa Frank dolphin, which is fun. Then I have this shell, a bug. This one really doesn't have to be horizontal, but sure. And another scene, is that my last one? Yeah, so that is my last one. So next I'm gonna be doing the hexagons and circles, and then I'm gonna go back to vertical. I wanna say, I think there's two more sets of vertical than horizontal, but I like that because then when I'm eventually done with this book, I'll be working in the middle and not at the back. So I feel like that's gonna be a plus. I also like, if you see, they only put the colors you need on the side and not every page uses everyone. And I think that's nice because there's like different vibes. And sometimes it'll look like it's using a lot, but like black will just be the eyes. So there'll just be a few black on there. Or yeah, like look at it. Purple, ooh, purples and yellows. I can't wait till I get to there. That's really in the middle though. It'll be a while, but I've been obsessed as you can see, because that's a lot of pages done in here. So yeah, I would do one page in here and then two something else and then one page in here and then two something else. So that's how that worked out. Okay, now we are into Disney. I managed to get six 
right one two three four five six of my disney pages done in this month which obviously love them always wanting to work in there here's my problem with these and this is another i call these danielle problems because i don't think anybody else thinks about this but i do and it just it it weighs on me okay so some of these books are more detailed than others some of them have the black outline some of them um have darker images and I never know what to do because a lot of times I'll do prompts and they'll be the same character in multiple books, but one image is just like better than the others. And sometimes I want to push myself to do the ones I don't like as much because I'll have to do them eventually and I don't want to be stuck with only pages I don't like, you know what I mean? But on the other hand, I have like, if I have 35 of these, that's 3,500 pages. So am I ever going to finish them all? Probably not. So maybe it's fine. You know what I'm saying? It's hard. Let me know how you choose your pages, especially if you have a lot of these. But even if it doesn't have to be these, just in general, how do you pick and do you do pages you don't like? Let me know that. So this is um, Optical Illusions, Heroes versus Villains. This is the newest one as of this moment, I think. Maybe. And I did two. And this was funny. So I did um, a few letter prompts. And I like to do these buddy colors. These as buddy colors with my friend Audrey. And I'll just be like, let's do this letter. Let's do this color. Whatever it might be. And then we both pick our pages independently. And then at the end, we show each other. So we had to do the letter V. And we both picked Vanellope. And that's fine. We both picked this exact page. <laughs> There's probably like seven or eight Vanellope's in all of the books. And she has, I think, almost all of them also. It was so strange that we both picked this exact Vanellope. So that was pretty mind-blowing. And that's not the only time it happened. Okay, that's the only one I have done here. But that was pretty crazy. But yeah, um, I really like this book. It's one of my favorites. It's one of the ones that it looks like somebody and then turns into somebody else. And for this one in particular, um, I don't remember... Yes, okay, so she had the black outlining, if I'm remembering correctly, and I use my Arteza, what are you called, acrylic markers. This one's actually just newly empty, but I got a 12-pack of these for, I want to say, like, between 10 and $15, and the only negative, in my opinion, is that they are not matte. They have that little bit of shine, which I just don't like when I'm filming. It doesn't necessarily bother me in person. But that is what I use for my black outlining. I just think it makes it pop and it's less likely to run into the other colors. So I did that. And then for the background, it didn't have any outlining, but I ended up just doing a small outline around the candy because I thought it was kind of getting lost into that background. But I'm nearly positive all this outlining was there to begin with. But that's my vanilla page, love that. Then I did a page in Fantastic Creatures. Let's see which one it was. Oh yes, I remember, hold on. I did a Meta Mim as a dragon. So again, I just did the black outlining with that paint marker and then everything else with my Statler dual ended water base markers. And I really like this one. This book does have some very detailed pages, but this one only had nine colors, which was nice. And I think I was doing a dragon prompt. So yeah, that was fun. I only have a few done in here too. So again, it's always good to do one more. Then we have Tomb 2. This was the first ever one of these that I obtained. And it's potentially, I do think it's my favorite of all of them. And if I were to make a goal to finish one, it would be this one. So I've kind of been trying to like, if I do do prompts, check here first and see what I can find to one day maybe finish this. I'll have to see. This, well, I don't want to say anything yet. I was going to say this may be a 2024 time book to finish because so far in 22 and 23, I've had a Disney book. But we're too far away to make that promise as of this moment. But I did do two pages this month. I did Remy, we did R, and again, Audrey also did an R, a Remy page, but luckily it was in a different book this time and not the exact same. This one, I like how it came out, except for whatever reason, like this looks super purple, and then like this is really blue, but it's pretty close to what they wanted. 
I just don't really understand their choices <laughs> in that moment. So I don't know. But again, black outline with my paint marker and that's and everything else colored in. Hold on, let's find it. Ooh. All right, again, this was the second. So we did Vanellope first and then we did O. And again, we picked not only Oliver, but this exact page. It's mind blowing, two in a row, exact same character, exact same page. So this is my Oliver page for O and he's super cute. And I like him a lot also. And I don't really care about the background matching it perfectly. So I think my, like this was supposed to be tanner and then the blues are supposed to be darker, but that's fine. Like we get close. And as long as the character is good, that's what matters most to me. So super cute page. I really liked the this book because it's definitely more um, like portraits of them and up close instead of the crazy details. Next up, I have a puppy page. Let's see who we did. Napoleon. So this is Napoleon from the Aristocats. And I'm pretty sure for this one, I actually lightened it up a good deal. If you can see in the bottom, these basically all look basically black to me. Like seven, eight, nine, and A. And even four. Almost all look black. So I kind of wing it, wung it, winged it. I never know. I, I just went off my own gut instincts and tried to pick my colors that way. I want to say I used my colors of the world for all of the browns, which was useful. Actually, since I do my outlining in the acrylic paint, I'm almost positive that this is just my black Tombow and it just doesn't look as black compared to the acrylic which this is a good example of why the acrylic is really bold and really stands out so this is how I used to outline with that black and now we got the big bold but honestly without having that this still does the job so yeah Napoleon I'm glad again this is one that I wouldn't necessarily have been drawn to because of how very very dark it was but I think it looks good like it still looks like him there's enough shading and I like it and then the final page which this was actually my most recent finish as of this moment is from babies I actually just pulled this book the early in the month and I was like I'm going to do something like we will find something to do and I did Donald ah! this is one of my favorite pages in the book which made me worried to do it because then I was like, but then it will be done because that's the kind of crazy that I am. But I love how it came out. I used my black Arteza paint marker. This is actually where it ran out. So I'm going to throw this out right this second. Um, I couldn't because my garbage bag was gone, but it's back again. So if you hear that swish, that was me throwing it out. And then I use my pit artist brush pens for everything else. I want to say and I really love it I think it's super cute and I really like this book a lot about half of them have the bold black outlining though and half of them don't so I wanted one that did and it's nice and simple and it was just a fun time so I actually did this for my patreon live so that's it for me this month again I might try to squeeze another page or two in um, I have no idea how well I'm going to do next month I'm going on a cruise in the middle of the month I will likely be bringing a coloring book with me, but historically, I have had a terrible time actually coloring whenever I go on vacation. So we shall see. Um, hoping to keep the momentum alive and just really keep enjoying coloring, which I definitely did this month. So that's it. If you made it all the way to the end and stuck around with me, first of all, thank you so much. And I think our secret word slash 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 emoji is going to be a duck no one will expect that from me ducks are birds and birds are the enemy but not donald i think i want to be donald and daisy for halloween so there's just information for you irrelevant to this conversation but just so you know um yes that's it from me thank you so so much for watching thumbs up this video if you enjoyed Comment anything you want to comment down below, including our secret word, duck. 
Subscribe if you haven't. I'm a fun time and I'm hoping to have a bunch of videos up in April for you to watch. And then in May is the main event, my coloring book collection. So stick around. You're going to want to see it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye friends.